Hey there, good morning. How are you? My name is Matt Kastner with Freelance on Fire. And this morning, I want to walk you through a training that I hope will give you the confidence to be able to grow your freelance business um, and help you uh, earn more income. Okay. Um, I've been a full time freelancer for now for about 15 years. And I have learned a, a few tips and tricks along the way, especially with regard to uh, finding clients. Now, as I talk with freelancers, as I, as I coach freelancers, probably the biggest uh, question mark that freelancers have or those that are wanting to become a freelancer have is, where do I find my clients? So what I want to share with you is I want to share with you some very simple and practical tips that will help you uh, not only be able to find a client, but I want to give you some tools that will allow you to continue to find more clients. And uh, let me just let me just say this, that um, if you're just getting started as a freelancer, um, it can be a little challenging. All right. Um, so before we go any further, I want to invite you to uh, to, to, to head over to a website that I have uh, put up. Um, I'm offering a free masterclass right now. Um, it's called the $1,000 in three day challenge. And what does that mean? In this challenge, I just put a link in the comments here below. Um, if you're looking to start a freelance business and you don't have a product, you don't have any clients, you don't know how to price your services, but you know you have some skill or talent that you'd love to offer the world, then the 1003 Day Challenge is for you. It's a free masterclass. I take you step by step in three days. I show you how to evaluate your skills, how to put a price tag on those skills, how to create an offer for an audience, and how to pitch your office and get to pitch your offer and get your first work. Okay. So I want you to check it out. It's $1,000 and three day challenge, www.1k3days.com. Um, I'd, I'd love to have you in the group. And I think it would be helpful for you if you're looking for a way to get started as a freelancer to help you find clients, help you create a product using your skills and put a price tag that will help you be profitable. Okay. All right. So enough with that. Let's move into the masterclass for today. All right. So what I want to show you is I want to show you how you can take your existing clients. Okay. And turn them into more clients. One of the, the biggest stressors I feel like as a freelancer is getting into a cycle where you're, you're, you're not sure where new work is going to come from, from month to month. Right. I've been there. And it's stressful. And one of the things that I didn't know starting out as a freelancer was how to leverage what I already had to help create more momentum going forward for me. And I'll have to be honest with you guys. Um, I'm not a natural salesperson. Okay. In fact, selling honestly feels a little bit icky to me. Okay. I, I'm not a natural born salesperson. And so for a lot of years, guys, I struggled uh, with the, the whole selling concept and finding um, new clients. Now, when I learned the solution that I'm about to share with you, um, it changed the game for me. Um, why? Because what I'm about to share with you takes all of the spotlight off of me as a person. OK, that's the one thing that I really didn't like about selling is that in order to sell, I had to get people to look at me. I had to get people to notice me. I had to get people to be impressed with me. And I felt like I had to always have some sort of stick or some sort of sales pitch ready to go to be able to convince people that they need to buy from me. And I just I, I wasn't good at it. And when I learned this technique that I'm about to show you, it changed the way that uh, that I sell, period. And not only does it change the way I sell, it's easy to do and it's super effective. Um, I will say this, 
that if you're just getting started as a freelancer, uh, selling a customer um, cold is probably one of the most difficult things to do. Um, trying to convince someone that you don't know and doesn't know you that your services are what they need is a real uphill battle. Not saying it can't be done, but it takes a lot of effort and it takes a lot of intention. Now, um, what I have learned as a freelancer is that when you have customers that know, like, and trust you, two things happen, okay? Number one, if you have a customer that already knows, likes, and trusts you, then they're more likely to buy from you again. And one of the things that I love as a freelancer is to have clients that will call me regularly, call me on a schedule, and use my services time after time after time. These recurring clients over their lifetime can be incredibly valuable. Guys, I've got lifetime value in some of my, my re recurring clients that's, um, yeah, that's, that's over a million dollars. And that's very humbling for me to say um, because that just happened. Actually, I just crossed that milestone in 2019, but it's real. And the fact that you can have a client over the long term that gives you work, that uses your skills and allows you to be a part of their business that will cr contribute that kind of value to your bottom line is just you can't you can't describe how valuable that is. So first thing, if you have people that know, like, and trust you, they will use you again and again and again, all right? Now, the second positive thing that happens when you um, have a client that knows, likes, and trusts you is that they're likely to refer you to their friends, colleagues, and associates, okay? So as you're a freelancer, as you're building your business, I want you to remember this, that when you're serving the client that you have right now, don't uh, don't forget the fact that your current client knows people, has influence with people. And just like you take a recommendation from a friend um, who maybe had a good experience at, let's say, a movie or a restaurant uh, or maybe a, a store of some kind, you're going to listen to your friend and you're going to listen to their recommendation and you're going to take it to heart. Why? because you know, like, and trust your friend. And your friend has validity. Now, when we're doing business with people, I want you to remember that. I want you to keep in mind that the people that you're working with can potentially be people that would refer you to others, okay? Very powerful, very powerful. I, I can tell you that in my career of 15 years, the majority of my business, I would say well over 60% of the business that I do in my business every month comes from an existing client or a referral client. And that's huge, guys. That means that I don't have to spend all that time looking for the new work, looking for the new client and selling the new client. And I got to be honest with you, most of the new work that comes in is either a referral or some sort of a relationship um, that I've developed either through people and that find me, you know, through a social channel or whatever. So I'm telling you that there's real power in being able to leverage your existing clients. Now, here's the deal. To get started, you really only have to find one client to serve, okay? Find one client and that's where it starts. Now, here's what I'm, I'm about to share with you. And this is what I feel like is so important. Now, the, the, the technique that I'm going to share with you, um, it's called the circle of awesomeness. And I learned this from a friend and mentor of mine named Stu McLaren. And he has shared his wisdom with me. And I have applied this, business, this wisdom into my own business. Not only does it make sense as a freelancer, but it's incredibly powerful and it works. OK, and I think it even helps us to understand where to put our focus when we are dealing uh, with a new client or even an existing client. OK, so the circle of awesomeness is a is a circle, uh, a circle illustration. And I'm going to uh, to walk you through that right now. OK, so the first step in the circle of awesomeness is you have to make a sale. So I'm going to write here on a um, a piece of paper, and I'll show this to you. 
Um, all right, so we can kind of do my little uh, little diagram here. So this is step one. You're going to make a sale. Now you have to find one client, but if you don't have a client, then I want you to jump into my one thousand dollar in three day um, challenge, and that's going to help you find your first client. Then once you find your first client, you could put this into practice and start to build kind of like a snowball your list of clients. Okay. All right. Step number one is you need to make a sale. All right. Step number two is you need to be extremely and hyper focused about getting your client results. Okay. All right. So after you make the sale, I want you to be incredibly focused and, and do everything you can to get results for your client. All right. So we need to be, we need to be thinking uh, like problem solvers. When you get hired to do a job, you need to ask yourself a couple of questions. Number one, why are they talking to me? What do I have that they need? Okay. And number two, you need to really uncover the under, underlying motive or problem that your client is looking to solve. Maybe it's a better brand, a better image, which results in better followers, better connectedness with their audience, more clients, more customers. Um, maybe you want uh, more conversions um, for their, their marketing. All right. Whatever it is, you need to understand that going into it and agree with your client that these are the targets that we're going to try to hit. And then you need to work like the Dickens to get those results for your client. OK, now here's what happens if you will focus and if you will get some amazing results for your client, this is what's going to happen. Those results are going to turn into a story. Okay. A story is going to be your customer's interpretation of their relationship with you and the project that you just walked with them through. Okay. A story is a, a little bit like a testimonial. Okay. But here's where the difference lies. A testimonial is really about, uh, about you. you. You don't want a testimonial. You don't want them to talk about how cool you are. You don't want them to talk about how skilled you are. You don't want them to talk about um, how great you are as a person. Although all those things are good and those things are part of who you are, what you're really digging for in the story is you want to get them to express the kind of results that they achieved by working with you. Okay? So when you are able to get a story uh, either it's video or in text format, an email, whatever it is. If you can get them to share with you this story about how you were able to help them achieve amazing results, then you've got a piece of gold that will be something that you can use over and over and over again. It's way more effective and way more persuasive than a uh, than a testimonial. Okay, so I'm going to hit the pause button here real quick, and I just want to talk to you a little bit about influence. Okay, uh, I want to talk to you about the power of reading someone else's um, comments. How many of you shop online? Amazon, eBay, um, a ton of other different online stores. If you're looking at a specific product, or maybe you're comparing a couple of products, what do you tend to do? OK, if you're on Yelp, if you're on Google, all right, you look at the reviews, you look at what real people have said about their experience with this or that product. OK, and you're going to make a decision either to purchase the product or not purchase the product based upon what you are seeing from other people. Now, you are probably not going to know any of the people that you um, are reading from, you know, on Amazon or whatever. I do it too. I, I go and shop for a product. I look at the reviews. I look what people are saying, both the good 
and the bad. I want to know it all. OK, I don't think any product is perfect, but I do want to look and see what the strengths are and what the weaknesses. I use that when I compare before I make a purchase. People are the same way with service providers, freelancers included. All right. When you give your potential clients an opportunity to read not just your own words, but someone else's words, what they're saying, not just about you, but the results that they're getting because they worked with you. That is incredibly powerful because I want you to tuck this way. This is a very piece, important piece of information I want to share with you. It's that your clients, although they may like you, are working with you for one reason alone. It's to solve a business problem or to, to do something that will help their business grow. All right. That's why they're motivated. They're business people. They have a job to do. They have income to earn. And you're part of that equation. Now, you need to take that job seriously because at the end of the day, you're hoping to help them move their business or organization forward. Okay? So keep that in mind. Now, so the third uh, third step is story. First thing we're going to do is make a sale. Okay, that's, that's number one. Number two, once we get the sale, we're going to work like crazy to get some results for our client and, and we want them to be satisfied, if not elated, okay? And then the next thing we're going to get is we're going to collect a story from them, all right? So you need to ask them for this. This is something that you need to be intentional about when you wrap up a project is to ask them for this story. Now, here is uh, the last step in the circle of awesomeness, okay? And I, uh, I, I think this is probably going to be a no-brainer, um, but... I'm going to say it anyway. All right. Step number four is tell the story. Okay. So when you get the story from your clients, all right, you want to tell the story. All right. Where do you tell the story? Well, you can put it in LinkedIn. You could put it on your website. You could put it in your social media. You could put it in your portfolio. You can put it in a blog. You can share it anywhere. Um, you can, uh, I highly recommend if you do a portfolio, um, if you share a, uh, a social post about the project that you've worked on, include your customer's story with the post. Okay. Cause it's not only showing what you've done, but it's showing the result that you were able to achieve for your customer. And anyone who views that, who sees not only what you've done, but the result that you were able to achieve for your customer is going to be powerful, all right? And the more stories that you can tell about customers that you've been able to get great results for, the more trust that they're going to have in you and the more likely that they're going to want to hire you to get the same sort of result for them, okay? So to complete the circle, once you tell the story, and people start to see um, what you've done, then you're able to make another sale, okay? Because people will read the stories, and through them, through referrals, they will begin to know, like, and trust the relationship that they could have by working with you. And you see how this just becomes a, a continuous circle. As you make more sales, you work to get results for your client, you get the story after you've gotten the results, you tell the story and the cycle goes on and on. And this is such an easy way to market, especially if you have a difficult time uh, with the selling process, because what you focus on from the start to the finish is all about your customer. It's not about you. You're simply a conduit that's helping your customer get great results through whatever skill, through whatever talent, expertise that you have to offer. And before long, this is going to be a, a, a self-feeding machine that you can use to help find more clients for your business. Now, I mentioned earlier, if you don't already have an existing client, I want you to check out my, my, my free masterclass. It's called the $1,000 in three-day challenge. I show you how to, uh, with no clients, no product, no pricing, and no offer, how to take your existing talents and skills, find a product that you can sell, put a price tag on that, 
Find, uh, learn, I teach you how to create an offer word for word, how to create an offer for your product and how to pitch that product and how to sell that product and find your first client. It's a three day workshop. It takes place in three days. You can implement this in a weekend. It's www.1, number one, K3, number three, days.com. 1K, three days.com. All right. Hey, I'd love to hear your comments. I'd love to hear what you think. Um, about today's lesson, drop me a comment or a question. Um, also would encourage you to uh, jump into a free Facebook group that I have for freelancers. And I hang out there a lot, answer questions and uh, provide lots of teaching resources there as well. So until then, I hope you have a fantastic day and uh, go out there and uh, create some results, get some stories and find more clients. Okay. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.